Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, the Game Maker series on how to make a top down shooter. This is an in depth guide guiding you through how to make a top down shooter in Game Maker Studio 2. So, today we're going to be taking a look at enemies and kind of a health system. So, if you. Oops. If we go into our player, you'll notice we already have a variable called HP. This is what we're going to be using to control our hit points. So, in our camera, we also have these draw X and draw Y variables. So in our camera we're gonna add a draw event. Now this can be a draw GUI event and in here we're gonna draw uh, kind of like a HUD. So this is very simple we need to define how the text is going to look so we say draw uh, set color and we want it to be white so C white Wait, it's our background color. Yeah, we can do white. So draw set color white. Now we need to say draw set hay line. Remember we assigned this before. And we're going to say FA left. We want it to be left. And then draw set B line and FA top. Now these are the default styling. Uh, for the centers of the text. This is default. Left for horizontal and top for, vor for vertical. Sorry. Now we're just going to draw the text. So draw text. And I like to draw it at 32, 32. And we're going to say string obj player dot hp. And that's how we draw the text of our hp to the screen. So in the create event of the camera now we have to define what the size of the GUI is so we're just gonna define that under initialize the debug we're gonna say display set GUI size this is how you set the size of the GUI layer the width we're gonna say uh, we can just do the size of our um, view normally we would use kind of an automatic function to automatically find the width and height of our view but for now we're just gonna say 1280 by 720 and we can exit out of that now if we go into and run the game here you'll see it says the uh, HP variable right there so that's pretty cool. All right. So now we're gonna add the enemy. So we're just gonna duplicate the player sprite, and I'm gonna rename this SPR enemy. And I'm going to change the color to make it actually look kind of like an enemy. So I'm just gonna make the top of him red and his gun like a gray color like that. Cool. That's all we need for that. So we can go into objects and create an object for our enemy, titled OBJ Enemy. And you can give him that sprite of the enemy that we made. Make him solid. And uh, there's a few things we need to define uh, in the create event. So add event create. Um, just a few variables here. We need to assign H. Uh, define HP. Sorry. And we also need to define uh, the speed, which we'll just do three. And we need the R speed, the rotation speed, which we also have this set up in the player. We're gonna make this 18. Cool. So now in the step event, we're going to just make this for now look uh, at the uh, player. So basic AI. And we're just gonna say, we're going to check to see if our player is within a certain range. So if we say if distance to object, uh, and then we need to define our object, which is OBJ, OBJ player, is less than or equal to, let's just say, 500 pixels, then we're going to say, um, we're going to use that exact same code we have in our player here for the smooth rotation. We're going to copy all that. 
we're gonna go back into our enemy here and just paste that now instead of saying mouse s x and mouse y we need to say obj player dot x and obj player dot y cool and yeah that should all work so now if we go ahead and run this game after we put the enemy in here Put them right there and down here. If we go and play. So you see, he's looking at us now. Now he's not. He's right there. He's not looking at us. We go inside of his view. He's gonna look at us, just like that. Cool. And then down here. He looks at us. Now he doesn't look at us. Cool. So now we need to make it so that the enemy can actually take damage from uh, our bullets. So if we go to the collision event, actually, we need to make sure that the enemy has a parent of our parent. Because we need that bullet to kind of disappear. So now we add the collision event. Collision with bullet. Now this is where you uh, take damage. So we're just gonna do a few simple things. We're gonna say HP minus equals choose. So it can choose between a random, of, of random values of let's just say 13, 17, and 25. Just kind of make it random. And then we're also going to do, or we're just going to make this kind of, we're going to add some juice, I guess, and say effect, create, above, and then we're just going to do, yeah, if we can actually browse through some of these, um, a spark, explosion, cloud, flare, ring, we'll do ring. We're gonna say X and Y size. Let's just do one. This oh X Y one, and then color. We'll just do C red. Cool. So now we need to go to the step event, and we need to check uh, for death, or this is just the death code. So if HP is less than or equal to zero. And we're just gonna say instance destroy. We just want to destroy this object. If it's HP, it's zero. Cool. So now if we go ahead and play. All right. So we can. There we go. It creates a ring and then destroys them. Um. It's kind of a issue. Oh, yep. I know the issue. So, whenever the bullet hits, uh, we need to make sure that it destroys the bullet. Yeah. So we just say with OBJ bullet instance destroy. Now, yeah, if if the bullet collides with the enemy, it's just gonna destroy the bullet as well. So that way we don't have it, so the bullet stays in contact with the enemy. We, we want it to destroy it immediately. Now, play. Go ahead and, and there we go. Cool. Alright, so now we're going to make the enemies fire back at us. That's going to be a little bit of a project here. It shouldn't be too difficult. We basically just take this code of the player, uh, which we have it assigned to a script of SCR player fire. We're going to take that. We're going to copy this. So we're going to copy that. And yeah, control C. Exit. Alright, so now we go into the enemy, and we need to define its cooldown. 
and we're gonna make the enemies cooldown a little bit higher than the player so we can outgun him easily. And then we need to set up the very, which is gonna equal uh, six, and I think that's all we need. And if we go into here, and then we're gonna say, we're gonna copy this. Oops, no, we can't do that. We're gonna say if distance to object uh, obj player is less than or equal to 400, so if we're just 100 pixels closer, then we're going to paste all that code there, and we need to get rid of if fire, and we need to get rid of global cooldown, and we need to get rid of this, just like that, and camera shake is going to equal 5. And then keep that there. Bullets. This needs to be. We're going to say OBJ enemy bullet layer sound. This will be SND gun because we don't have a script for all these. And then patient meeting parent. Uh, this will just be OBJ. Um player. It doesn't matter if it goes through wait yeah it does. Okay, um we need to create wall has a parent. Okay, so we can do this, we could say position meeting OBJ player We need to copy this. No, just this part. And then we're gonna say or two lines like that means or or position meeting OBJ wall. And we're just gonna copy that. Paste it here. Very cool down. And we just need cooldown minus equals once, we subtract that. Uh direction. We need dir. Yeah. And we need to make this fire in the direction. Yeah, I think it's already doing that. If it's Close, it's gonna create a bullet, okay. Alright, so now we just need the last variable. What did I say that was? Drawing a blank here. Ah, dirt. Dirt equals zero. Alright. So, wait, do we already have that? No. Okay, now we just need that bullet, so we're just going to copy this bullet, duplicate, and we're going to rename this OBJ enemy bullet, exactly how we spelled it in code. Call, let's open this up. Okay, start. That's good. That's good. That's good. Or add event collision. Nope, we're good. Alright, so then we go into our player and we say add event collision with the enemy bullet and we're gonna say take damage. And we're gonna say HP minus equals choose. And then we're gonna use those same values but a little bit lower. So 15 and 20. And then we're gonna say effect Create above. Just use black for the color. And then we also need to destroy that uh, enemy bullet. So we're going to say with enemy bullet instance destroy. Cool. Alright, that should be all. Uh, run it and see what happens. Let's go ahead and 
play. Whoa. Okay, fire rate's a little bit fast. Distance to object, under player, less than 400. Cooldown equals 15. Oh, we need to say and and. Cooldown is less than or equal to zero. Make sure that we actually check for that. That's why it was so fast. Sorry about that. Now if we play. Cool. cool, so we have a game here. It's coming along nice. That's all I wanted to talk about today is just the basic enemy AI like that. Next time we'll get them moving, kind of make states for them, and we'll just add some better sprites, and I'll show you a few extra little juicy effects you can do, like some blood, and that'll be it. Um, so maybe a few more videos and then we'll be done here. Thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.